Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a landing page that has an image gallery behind the text in your Squarespace 7.1 website. We've seen a design very similar to this in an older version of Squarespace where we could actually create what was called a cover page that had multiple images that would show up in the background. What we're actually gonna do today is create a blank page. We're gonna have one section that's a gallery and one section that has a lot of text, and then we're gonna use some clever CSS to combine those sections and remove the navigation from the header on that page as well. So all of the codes that I'm using today are listed in the description beneath this video, but I'd love to walk you through them step-by-step step so you understand how they work and how to put them on your own website. So let's go ahead and hop into my demo site and get started. So here we are in my demo site and I've outlined all the steps here about creating a page, creating sections and all this fun stuff. All this text will be pasted in the description beneath the video. So let's go ahead and get started with step number one. I'm gonna click the plus sign in the not linked section of my site. So this page won't be a part of the main navigation on my website. Clicking that, I can select blank page and that'll be where we start. Doesn't matter what you call it, what you need to do is select edit because we've gotta add some content. The first piece of content we're going to add is the gallery itself. I'm gonna click this plus sign and I'm going to select gallery over here on the left hand side. Scrolling down, I can grab any of these galleries. It doesn't matter because we can change it up after we've grabbed it. Alrighty, I've got the gallery here. I'm going to go ahead and click this edit icon and let's select slideshow full. This is gonna give us the option to set the height to large and we're gonna have a large, just single image at a time in this particular slideshow. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and I will hide the controls and I'm gonna turn on autoplay. This right here where it says slide duration set to five, that means every five seconds, it's gonna show the next image in my gallery. Now really quickly, if you're not familiar with galleries, if you click this image icon right here, this is where you can add images to the gallery that you wanna see. I'll go ahead and click close and show you that one more time. Click this icon right here and you can either click the plus sign to upload images, drag and drop them in there. This is where you change the actual content of that gallery, okay? So again, selecting that edit option, we're going with slideshow full, large height, hiding the controls and setting it to an autoplay. If you just want it to be one main image, that's a completely different tutorial for you. If you want it to autoplay through these different images, this is where you change that, okay? Awesome, we've got one more section to add. I'm gonna scroll down. We're gonna click this plus sign and just add a blank one. This is where we're gonna actually add the content that we're gonna have above that gallery. So I'm just going to type content goes here, filler, text, yay. That looks a little silly. Now it looks way better. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and make this large text so we can see what's going on. I'm gonna center it and I'm gonna go ahead and change this Head, navigating over to colors because I wanna make sure it is a white text that's gonna show up on top of my images. That's a personal preference. Change that text color to whatever the heck you want it to see. You do you, okay? The other important thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set this section height to large. Both of these sections need to be set to section height large, okay? So I'll show you one more time. Click that edit button, section height large, and then I navigated over to colors just to grab one that had white text. Again, that's your personal preference for those colors there. Alrighty, that important stuff is done. We're gonna go ahead and select save. Now we need to enter some custom code. Now, one thing that's very important to note is that I only want this code to apply to this individual page. Normally, I head over to the design tab and enter custom code on the site-wide CSS file. That's not what we're gonna do today. We're gonna add this code to the page header code injection. Your page header loads before everything else on your site, everything else on that particular page. So it's a great place to put custom CSS like this. So to get there, we can either click this gear icon right here and navigate to advanced or if we're still in edit mode, we can click the gear icon on the top right hand side to get that same menu and navigate to advanced. Now I will mention this is a time of recording this anyway, only available for business and commerce plans. If you're on a personal plan, you have to use an on-page code block and I'll have a link to more information about that in the description beneath the video, okay? So let's assume you're on business or commerce, you've got this page header code injection, what are we gonna say? Well, we first have to tell it it's CSS. So I have to open up a side carrot pointing to the left there and say style and then close that carrot. 
that says, hey browser, I'm about to enter a cascading style sheet or CSS. We have to tell it that it's style so it knows what to do with this code, okay? So we've got those style caret brackets there. So now we need to enter our code. I'm going to say hashtag page and then page section, opening up a bracket and I'm gonna say height 100 VH exclamation point important. What this is gonna do is say any page section you see, make sure it's 100% of the view height for whatever device I'm using. So let's close that bracket and we're gonna enter a new line. We're gonna say page, page section, nth child two. And what this is saying is, all right, browser, on the page, taking a look at the page sections, we're gonna apply this code to the second page section, okay? Nth child two, second page section. So I'm gonna open up a bracket and say margin top negative 100 VH important. What that says is take the top of that page section and scoot it up 100% of the view height. And this is really important, you better do this. What we're doing is moving that second section on top of the gallery section. Following so far? Awesome, we've got two more lines of code that we're gonna add here. I'm gonna enter a new line and I'm gonna say page dot page dash section nth child two, because we're talking about that part again, that second section, then I'm gonna add a comma. I want this code to apply to more than one thing. So I've gotta add a comma and I'm gonna say page dot page section nth child two, and then dot section background, open up a bracket and say background color transparent, exclamation point important. So what I'm saying here is, okay, you see this page section? Don't give it a background. Do you see the section background on that page section? Don't give it a background. We're making sure that nothing's going to be behind that text, okay? So last line, we're gonna hide the header and footer. So I'm just gonna say header, comma, hashtag footer sections, and then open up a bracket, display none important, and close that bracket. Whew, that was a lot of code, right? Don't worry, it's all in the description beneath the video there. You can just copy and paste it, but I'm just gonna recap it for you real quick so you can understand what we're saying. We're saying, all right, browser, this is going to be a cascading style sheet code, CSS right here. On this particular page, if you see a page section, make sure it takes up 100% of the height of whatever screen it's being viewed on. Now, if you're on a page and you see that second page section, I want you to give that a negative margin to the top there so you're gonna scoot it up to be above the other page section. Now, same thing with that second section there. If you see a background color that's associated with that section or that section background, get rid of it. I want it to be transparent and that's important. And then finally, take the header and footer of this page and don't display it. So that's the code we just wrote. I'm gonna select save and you'll notice nothing's happened because it hasn't loaded that page header code again. So I need to select done. And now Squarespace is gonna refresh and check it out. We have our content above our gallery image and the gallery itself is scrolling through those images every five seconds, just like we said in that animation duration. How cool is that? So we now have this as full screen slideshow gallery behind page content. Now in that page content, if you wanna edit that, select the edit button and you can add anything else you'd like. You can add a button if you want to. Here's a little trick for you. Use the arrows. You see this arrow up here? I'm gonna click that up arrow right there and now I can change the images for that particular gallery, okay? When you're done, click the up arrow again, okay? Because we wanna make sure that that content where we removed the background stays as the second section. To change the images, click the arrow, change the images to anything that you want, and then click the arrow again so that content stays as the second section, okay? That's it for this tutorial. We had a lot of codes we went over today, but all of them are in the description below, along with a typed out version of the step-by-step -step that I just walked you through. I hope you liked this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.